Alrighty, welcome to another episode of High Five. My name is Showstar, the DJ. And of course, on this episode, I have a very special guest. In that, uh, this gentleman, we haven't done High Five, but we've done some interviews. Like, I, I, I remember vividly the last interview we had. I was still on Horn FM and he came, and of course, we had a fire interview. He's had like a busy career. He's still very busy. He's been in the industry for a long time. He has won everything. He's been there. I am still a big fan of his band. I'm still a big fan of his music. But of course, I'm going to let you in on who I'm talking about after we play the song that he has put on number five. This is High Five. Another Chester production. If we're not going to heaven to cover famous, <laughs> Lord Guide. <laughs> Resurrection 2016. <laughs> Bye. 
All right, welcome back. Like I said, um, I gave an intro of this gentleman, and of course, you can see him right now in the screen. Uh, his name is Peter Senza Gaze. He's got like a lot of AKAs, so I'm gonna let him just, uh, you know, continue with the AKAs as we go on. Welcome. I, I feel like kneeling down, and then we're coming into the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like kneeling down. Yeah. And we're coming into the show. <laughs> you're Zaga. I mean, you're Zaga. You're Peter Senza yeah, Gaze. Uh, How are you, man? Yeah, it's so good. It's good. I'm all fine. Uh, happy 2020. Happy 2020, man. It's good to be on your show. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's thank a dream come true. I've always <laughs> Look wanted at you. to be here. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's always good to associate yourself with uh, happening things, and uh, it's a good feeling to be here. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The, I was hope I won't run away like what no, I you, always want, you want. You won't run away. <laughs> 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 but if you provoke the situation, I can't guarantee you that. Shosta, shosta, yeah. <laughs> You know, there are people that just watch you from afar and they're like, ah, food, that's what some chitab wants to approach. <laughs> very approachable. But one I should be the, telling them. Like, this is one of the guys who's very approachable, open minded, listening. Maybe how you approach matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of how you approach me, I can't guarantee you safety. If you approach me nicely, yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, because even us, there are those people that what they saw on stage, they think you are in that. So when they meet you, they want to hey, <laughs> So from now I was working with all my thoughts. Then from now I should change and say, kude, kude, kude. <laughs> So it gets awkward. So I'm like, hey, I'm going like, hey, so I'm going to go to the zone. So I'm I just greeted him when he nodded. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> I need to sort out that. I need to sort out that. I need. To, to that. I need to, let me just go rush into that shop. I get that so that I rush. And we're like, ah, flap. So like, yeah, 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 so Peterson, you you've had a very busy year. Um last year there, there was a lot a lot happening. I think past two, three years a lot has been happening with you. Um you have been in active politics and also you didn't like you've been very busy, you didn't even let go of the music, like also music was happening at the same time. Um, there's a lot I want us to have conversations around, mm -hmm. uh, so I'll be, we'll be getting there as, you know. I think, I think the hardest thing really is to, to be, to, to try to work on three things at the same time really. Uh, music always wants your concentration. I remember back in the days where we used to go to the studio, like the old day we are free, we are doing what we are doing, then 20 hours we go buy our dinner, our food, our drinks, then 22 hours we go in the studio and we start waking up to about four or five. Mm. And you can, even the music when it comes out, people can feel this too, there was a concentration in this. And over the years, when you get so much busy, it's quite very hard for you. By the time it's 19 hours, you are tired, you just want to sleep so that tomorrow you start chasing another day. Uh, so the working really, when it comes to studio now, is when you are free. Like, yes. let me try create time when I am free. And then you, st and then the funny part, the most killing part is that you have a lot of people that want to work with you. A lot of producers yes. that I want to work with you. For free they want to give do you and now a song for you and they are not all that but you've got no choice but to work with them and then put their pro their works on your project so that they also feel they are something they are supported and that works very bad <coughs> for the artist himself because you compromise for others to gain and then you are dropping mm -hmm. to mediocre sound i know i know I so know. but you have to encourage some people so it's a decision you take to say for the next one year or two years since i've attained certain respect or certain recognition i'll try to invest invest this time in helping a lot of other mm -hmm. artists and producers to come up so you feature on new artists, new new artists producers. New producers. even when you know for me to make a hit song i just have to go to jerry d and make stoga or to jerry fingers <laughs> and make this or to ben blazer or I uh, Kekero or whoever, but now 
I like it. I like it. So what, what you've been doing of late is deliberate. You're just trying you, to you, uplift. You have people. to work with others I like it. so that they, 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 they also have the platform, share and grow. And before you realize it, they they are bigger. Life, when you look um, how many artists worked with the young man's touch and what level he's reached now, is Big now is one of the best produce, yeah, the producers you, you, you ever think of. But just imagine if the time he was at Kablonga, he was saying he wanted to work with someone, he wants to produce a song for you and everybody shuns away because uh, he's just a young guy who was making... Would have missed some, out on all the good songs. You understand? We are we, yes, mm -hmm. what we are uh, yeah, benefiting now. So there is a delivery for the past three, four years where you just want to work with the young uh, like artists uh, that are singing, that are rapping, <coughs> uh, the producers, and then they grow. And it's good to look up to people that you work with, that you help. You know, you did a delivery. Some some wouldn't know. They just think I worked so hard that I yeah, reached yes, a level that yes. I can work with Mark Two, I can <laughs> work with Peterson. But Mark Two thought before he came to you, he's like, like uh, there's nothing I'm getting there. Am I getting? I'm just helping out. Yeah, you understand. So this is really nice. Yeah. I like that thought. And also, when uh, at the beginning of the show, there's, um, I don't know if it was on the camera or off the camera, you, you said something very important. Like you said, uh, it's nice to associate yourself with uh, things that are happening. Yeah, it, it was. It was on, on the camera, right? Yeah. Is, is it like, um, I feel like that's like a formula for some of you people who have stayed in the industry very relevant for a long time. Okay, for, 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 for maybe you can jump on a producer who's putting out good sound. Yeah, you can. The, the, that's the best way to do it, to work with people that are happening, people that are going to complement your hard work and they bring their effort and heaviness so it becomes bigger. So every day you work with somebody who's also big, it goes bigger. Every day it's always good to do like that and that should be the way for everybody um, until you start bringing in the giving back to the community <laughs> concept in to say, okay, now I have to work with everyone. If I have to drive to Chaisa, to some studio for some guy I've had there who sent me a text to say, Wakamba, I've got a beat I want to do for you. And even when I go through the songs they've done, I'm not really hearing anything that top charts and cued everything, but I hear songs they've produced that are doing well, but never ever to the level of that. But I still just say, okay, let me go there and work. And you never know. That's how I met Ben Blazer. He just sent me, uh, I went to feature on a song by Unique. I met Unique, said, I'm an artist from the Copper Belt, my guy. Ah, we started liking each other. I said, I want you to feature on a song. I got to feature. He takes me to the studio. I meet Ben Blazer. I do on the song. He liked it. And then he sends me a text when I'm like, I've am I'm got a beat for you. I said, in fact, I like your sound, so I want to do three songs. So I'll pay for the other. So I paid for two songs and he made one beat. So I went into the studio. So I said, before you play me the beat that you made, let me, let's make the, some let's beats. Make my, yeah. yeah, so I paid him for two songs, he made the beat. <coughs> the beat that he made was for Love Your Perform and for mm -hmm. Uman Vela Buanj. So now you have the beat like Love Your Perform and uh, Uman Vela Buanj and you go home, you're like, ah, this is the guy. Mm -hmm. Then he plays me the beat that he made before I was there and it's for Nilaveko. Dance with him. Nilabeko. Nilabeko. So I'm like, wow, this is good. What will stop you from working with that guy? So if I just went like, unique ones to feature me, ah, you would have missed out on all that. I would have missed in a lot on that. So it works well. It works a lot. Some of them even become friends. Like I met, may so rest in peace, Jappy the first video person to take me to international TV, like my video Nikufuinkula was on yes. on Twice. Uh, and I just met him through uh, uh, a shooting with Lloyd D. He was helping Lloyd D. With, yes, uh, he was, I yes, met him through like that. He yes. was always helping with Lloyd D. Lloyd D, you understand? So uh, we're doing a video, uh, an advert mm -hmm. with Lloyd D and then he was there and we started clicking from that and everything like that. Now just imagine if you see new people, new talent, new just vibe, and you just to... want to stay away. I wasn't gonna be on trace. I know, I know. You I understand? Know, know. So, but a guy that I never saw a video mm -hmm. for, like I never saw a video shot by Jappy Culture, that was big or doing anything. But I felt like he could do something. Let's just work. Uh, you, you have to boss to say he did a video for me. Yes. And 
because I thought like that, I found myself on stress. stress. You understand? Really nice. So it was a win-win situation. Yeah, of course. You. At the end of the day, <clears throat> you have for a long time have had this. Um, I love I love watching you perform with the live band. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thanks. How how Thank do you, you how do you how did you how do you put that chemistry together? Like, is it? Okay, so without hiding, I would want to say thank you very much to Ringman. Ringman has been very pushy on me, on rehearsals. So Ringman is the one who would give me rehearsal time even at 22 hours to 02, or 20 hours to 03, we got rehearsed by his place with my band. So this is where I just tell Madame to say this evening is for rehearsal and we just We'll see you uh, later in the morning <laughs> and no matter how much i stay away from race like i've stayed for two months i haven't raced he called me last week say what's going on anyway. <laughs> so i think the whole chemistry with the band and when we start doing the song he acts like um, a, a spectator is watching and he's like or it's not it's not sounding like he will, he will, he will Sometimes you feel like you've rehearsed well with and he said, okay, listen, can you ask what you You understand? But Ringman, we've got a lot of songs. Like, you can't just come say, play Kapiripiri or Chambopasa Indicator. No, no, you need to play it. So, I think through that pushing, it reminds me of Sync. I think I. It's good that that was my orientation. When I started to think that's what I went through, uh, in a sense that when I started recording my first album, I would record a song, he would go to the studio and delete it. I feel like Nasiri is a nyimbo, and then because it wasn't good. Till I did songs like Oh No, Mnyaule, Promise, Love Yapa, uh, Watch This uh, Wedding Day, and it started my career when you have such people. Now today I'm hearing from uh, a uh, good uh, celeb like you telling me you like my act. Then yet. I, I thank uh, the people that you. Yeah, met. Ringman, really. That's that's the guy who pushes the chemistry. <coughs> and the good part, I want. Let me not run away from appreciating that the guys that I work with are good as well. And I've had a lot of people pass through my band and go and become big and play for other bands. Oh yeah? Yeah, like the first band that I had, the first one, the initial one, it's only one guy that I have who's remaining. Oh yeah? Who's like uh, the band leader now. He, yeah, because RC has gone to China. Oh, RC, I see him, I see him, yeah. he's in China now. In China. Uh, Is he going to school? Yeah, yeah, he's been in school. Uh, I think a lot of programs now. So, but the new guys that I have now, I think they are the longest one now because I've been with them maybe for four years now. Oh, yeah? Three years. Four years, I would say. <coughs> the first one that we started in 2012, uh, the band started really in 2012 when mm -hmm. I had my first band. And uh, I had different guys. I had Ken Kenneth Kimbango on the guitar. I had Donald. Donald has gone big to be able, now he's teaching people how to play music. He's got a school. Uh, Kimbango is big. He plays in every almost every hot song that has got a guitar in the country. Nice. Uh, yeah. RRC is big. <laughs> yeah, China. <laughs> yes. <coughs> okay, let's move, let's move let's move on from there. Yeah. Um, I, I want to hear a story or two. Uh, you once did a song called "The Fuller Boy." Mm -hmm. This is you being very humble and uh, not forgetting where you are coming from. You know. Um, mm -hmm putting away everything you've done and all the achievements. I want to hear maybe a, so, an, a, a story where maybe you went back to in, in Western province and then you, maybe you found someone who was a Sephora boy, like how that song touched them. Did you ever did you ever come across people meet you and say... Yeah, like even people, even, boy, pe even people that, us. yeah, even people that were at Sephora 20 years before mm. were there. Uh, those were there, uh, Sefula in the 70s would meet me and say, young man, you know I'm a Sefula boy as well. <laughs> yeah, and you know there's always that thing people have if they went to a school in Kalulushi or in Kashikishi or in Mwansabombwe, they would want to hide. The yes, school yes, they went to. Yes, they only yes. want to mention when they went to Arakan or when they Kablonga, came to Munda, you yes. understand, yeah. 
and a lot of people that have done their schools outside Lusaka or outside, or not in on the Copper Belt, but in all these other provinces, uh, Luapula, Northern, uh, Eastern, and everything, always want to not talk about that. And it was ra rare for me to see people who were proud to mention they were at Sefula. Yeah, and I would see sometimes when I would want to talk with my friends uh, to mention school, they would want to come out. Ah, tenze kucha kumunzi kwenye soto vuti kakuja. You understand? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But after I did Sefula Boy, I've seen a lot of people proud of where they were. Whether they were at Navoye or what, they'll just come and tell you, hey, you know, mm -hmm. Mamba, hey, or you know, you know, you know, Chan. Uh, me, I'm a what, what boy. Some names I've never heard, but I've seen people being proud of where they are. So I think there's a certain uh, proclamation that we need to do as <coughs> public figures that makes people feel like, ah, so there's nothing special. This guy is known and is what, what, but yes, he still but associates he from, with, yes. you understand? And coming to your question, I've met a lot of people. Because I, I feel you like you motivate people who are just down there. And then maybe sometimes they might think, um, we might not reach maybe certain levels in life. But yeah. you, they'll be like, wait. But this guy, comes you understand? Here. Yeah, yeah, very much. Very much. If I take you to where I did my grade 7, grade 6 and 7, you're like, really, Peterson was in this class? You understand? Mm -hmm. like, that's in my village in Narikwanda in Luandui. And... I feel like a lot of people would not want to say they went to school in the village, but I think I've seen city life, I've been in London, I've been to the UK, I've been to the village, I've hunted with dogs and killed the Kalulu or an emperor. <laughs> you understand? I know all that life. I know the Bazungu life, I know the village life, I know the Komboni life, I know the Mayadi life. And uh, I think I've experienced Zambia. It's it, it's really good. It's really good to be proud where we, uh, you know where we come from, what we've been, because what we've been has made us yeah. who we are today. And of course, we can only see bigger. Let's go on a break. We'll be back on the other side. This is High Five. Nangamufu na chani kulinge 
Levi Chamene ni funa ni kazi kamba ku tonight Daba musika na uone ka on tonight Nine onzo na but I'm sorry bye bye Uzakota ukumbwa Iwe mami we Usanjaire Na wako la neo ni uze tabe Uzaka jama Mami we Welcome back. This is High Five. My name is Showstar, the DJ. I'm hanging out with Peter Senza Gazay. Now, you... I, I know we're not going to talk about... I promise I'm not going to talk about uh, Madam. But yes. I'm, I'm, I want to talk about when you had the wedding. Mm. You had the whole head of state to come and you get the phone. Mm. How did you put that one off? I think he likes me. Uh, that's the first thing. I would not say uh, special powers are used and what. I think he liked me. If he had it, he had time. In his words, he would have been my shibukombe. I remember. Nice. Uh, so when I mentioned to him that I'm planning to be like, he said, tell me when you want to. And then at that time around, I think he was busy running around doing other things, so he could not really be sitting me down. What? But um, he, he welcomes me when I, I I want to see him, and he listens to me when I want to talk to him, and he's very open with me to tell me what I need to hear. Nice. Whether it's hateful or not, and I think he's been <coughs> one of the people that really pushed me to really uh, take school serious. Yeah. What 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 are some of the things that because uh, you you say that he's really open with you, and he tells you things even when he's not uh, singing praise songs to you. What, are, what is there one thing that you remember that he told you that? You the biggest thing that he's ever told me is um, when deciding mm. on what political affiliation to to side with, he is straightforward to say, my destiny is not your destiny. What will work for me is not what will work for you. Your choices can't be my choices. The only thing is that you have to remember that in your life you still have about 40 to 50 years. And you need to plan for this, not for today. Don't make decisions that only work today and will never work in the future so create a person that you know this will benefit me in the future but at the same time try to benefit even at the current situation so i'll never push you to side with anyone 
but I will be open enough to tell you when you're stepping in wrong waters. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, so it remains. He says it in passing, but it remains for 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 me. It remained inside. Like wow. So I know whatever decision I'll take is okay. And and I think it's approach. You could see even one of his sons is supporting this side. His son is supporting the other side. That is just his <coughs> so policy. So just tell them, say, say you, you stand for what you stand you for. You it. have your life. And you look at me. I had my life. I even retired. I sat down, but things still come because of decisions I made prior to way I'm back. There. You understand? Who still came to haunt me 20, 30 years later and got me into presidential office. So, it is your decision. They will still come to haunt you 40 years from now or 30 years from now. I like it. I like yeah. it. And um, I, I think that, I think that you are you, you are taking his words seriously and you are you are headed that yeah. way. You're really building yourself a, <coughs> a nice image in terms of politics. Um, let's talk about politics. You are in politics. You before we talk about um, you standing as mayor, you I saw that you you resigned from PAC. My question is, have you resigned? Have you put politics away or you've just resigned from Yeah, PAC? from PAC, yeah, from the political party itself. <coughs> and uh, by party, it's, it's, it's just by association and branding to say I'm PAC and what, so I cut that out. But President Banda is my friend. We spend maybe in a week, we spend two or three days together. Nice. Like every time I move, I always end up by, by his office or he will either, when he was free, he would always call me to say, let's link up somewhere and uh, joke and laugh and look, because we were friends before politics. Yes. So we decided, when I said I want to stand as mayor and they had a party and we started talking and we decided, okay, we can work together on this one. I learned what I learned, I gained what I gained uh, very much and they also learned what they learned and they gained what they gained uh, at the party. And then from there, when I realized uh, I think we we had different speeds and different um, uh, momentum. I f I was open enough to mention to him say I think Ndala I need to, to remove the branding of Park so that I can <coughs> own my reasoning again. The, the the issue right now is that every time I say something, the mindset of Zambia is that you're saying that because you're because back. you're, oh, you're yeah. back. So oh, yeah. I, I for the, we still have a long way to 2021. I want to own my reasoning and create um be like a woman create yourself attractive so that she men will start looking for you in 2021 to marry you i like it yeah so it was okay it's like yeah we all want to grow and if you grew in another camp or in another camp i don't have a problem with that the fact that i'll be looking at my friends said to pushing my files we are good so I, I i i resigned from park because i wanted to own my my reasoning and my words, right now it feels good when I say something or write something or utter a statement. I feel I own it and I feel people get it because they believe I'm talking from my own point. Uh, the only thing is that yeah, people know I, it's opposition. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> moving on. So you, um, the statement is that you are still in active politics. Very you just much. resigned from, from a political party. How far are your aspirations go to be president of the country? Uh, at the moment, the biggest thing that I really want to be is a, a member of parliament. An MP? Yeah. Have you chosen which constituency or it's just Yes, by I'm default? standing in Narikwanda in 2021. 2021, yeah. as an independent? Or you Whichever could were a... um, independent or adopted, <coughs> I am standing in Narikwanda. Narikwanda. That's where it is right now. I wish you the best. I, 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 whatever support you can get from me, you be able to get yeah 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 that would be nice that would be nice it's not always when you see a lawyer support a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah. um moving on um let's talk about you standing as a mayor mm, you you tried to get it you didn't get it what what do did you maybe sit after afterwards to check where maybe you didn't do correct it was a learning process if i want it it was a going to be a good miracle. Uh, the truth of the matter is that 
politics about numbers and you know we've got two big organizations that have numbers already they've got structures and actual votes already they had even history to say 2016 a year ago we had these votes in this uh, in this Musaka and they knew they still had those votes the only thing that needs is just to re- to to revive them yeah. yeah for me i was new i never had any record of any other vote and um, i don't have st- we didn't have um, i don't have structures as a person and uh, the political part i stood on is a growing party is a uh, is about four years today so uh, it would be a lie to say it was on, it was on a higher level or same at par as uh, uh, the two the other, uh, the other two so <coughs> we got what we got and it was good the truth of the matter is that i could not w- walk to the other two big parties and say adopt me i want to so they'll just say ah, imwe, but, mm-hmm. but it's a way of trying to show them what you're made of and after that they start chasing on themselves say, ah, you will come and join us what you understand mm-hmm. so it was uh i had uh, a lot of people that have were in politics even before me during the the mayor and the support that we got the response and the hype uh, was encouraging to see like okay i think we are destined somewhere and it was a good start to prepare for 2021 did you did you didn't you get a lot of people saying like you said telling you that ah no you can't be we are mixing politics and music just yeah go back. there are always people that look at life using their eyes and what they are capable of doing and they would want to make you also reason with their eyes like for example i know what has worked in my life and what i have failed to do so when you want to do something i want to use my failures to determine what, what i can able, do you, you what have, i can do yeah if life was that then we're not going to have a computer today because a lot of people failed they could have told the guy who wanted also to do or mac or windows say ah, we tried that it won't work you think you can get it but the truth of the matter is that everyone has got a destiny so um, there are people that will tell you it cannot work because they are using their mind and their mm-hmm. their, their, their life as a specimen say uh, the way i know life with what i've seen yeah but that's you that's me don't, yes don't tell my story yeah. using your you understand yeah you, you can't use your reasoning and your 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 experiences or your destiny or how you see things how easy things are on your side or how hard things are on your side to determine how easy or how hard they will be on my side we can drive on the same road and you you can be stopped by traffic police and you can be arrested or did your car detained or whatever it is i can drive the same road and greet them and they will even ask for a lift to drop in front so and i cannot <coughs> force that the way it happened with me is how it happened with pita po chabe ukaseka seka na bo then ya mzaenda no end was end was drop kwa hiyo end i understand so the mom yes the moment we respect and uh, realize that as humans i think we let to support we learn to support each and every dream yeah what are you doing different to be able to make sure that that na kwanda seat is yours after come 2022 yeah I, at least with politics there's the way there's a system how it works it is not about desire or it's not about wanting to be approached different the moment you do something that is out of the ordinary uh, for the populace will always, always stay away with politics or with the um, leadership their system that are laid to say it works like this you get it like this so you just have to learn say how do they do it how do they get there what works and what doesn't work and once you learn the better the moment you think you can do it differently uh, with politics i think that's why it gets crazy there is a certain way it works and it works just like that so have we learned how the, we the get we learning every day politics is about learning every day and you reach a level where you've learned enough but you still learn but you at least what you've learned is able to sustain you, you and get, enough, get you good, good through enough. yeah yeah so we're learning and we're getting there it's reality it's not about i always say it's not about illusion it's not about desires it's not about what you think you would wish should happen no it 
is what is going to happen so you look at the scenario and say oh the way this is how it is going to happen so if i want it to happen like this i need to use this route and do this step and that step and that step then it will happen like this if this is, does not happen then it won't happen like for example i would say uh, is before the campaign before everything and everything there's what is called water protection so you need to have people that you believe in that are going to protect your what for example in a constituents how many schools are there where mm -hmm. schools that are going to be polling stations like how many polling stations are there and at every polling station how many classrooms are there so in each classroom you need to have two people that's not negotiable you need to have two people to protect your vote because if you are not there your vote can be rejected yes or can be so it, this is just the system so if there are 1000 uh, uh, polling stations and each all these polling stations have got four classrooms you need eight people at every at every polling station at every polling station by one that means you have you need to have eight thousand people so these eight thousand people are not negotiable you need to have them and for all these eight to believe in you you cannot start that relationship today it needs to be started two three years before you say okay with my seven and hey how much have, have we've been close to each other how much is his faith has been on me so even if somebody comes and say i'll give you one pin if you get his votes and throw on our side to say these hours because that can happen in yes yes Shosta, but is even your limbi wa zina ya winango. Maybe your limbi wa Thomas. Shosta, shosta. Tai ponya na pari shosta. Now, if you don't have people, so, and these people that you have should be voters as well, so that you are assured already of eight thousand votes. Eight thousand votes already. Yes. yes. So that is how it works, and it should work like that. Then from that, you need to have branches and sections and all these they say zones. Oh, but the section is only about branch or quad. So in every branch, how many people do you have in a branch? 50? Are they yours? They've got voters got? Yes. So if every branch is 50 and every ward has got two, uh, I've got, has got uh, four branches, that means you've got 200 votes. It's a, it's a, it's a, you sound very learned and, and just so, now I'm learning. Yes, so it reaches a level where before you even go to elections you are able to know already the numbers that are already I on, have side. on my side so like for the big two political parties i've got these structures so they know whether it there is a voter apathy or what Twenty thousand votes will come to their side because these are people who are benefiting every day from the party structures and they would want to save their jobs so they will wake up and will vote so when you create such structures and these structures work and people are working every day and benefiting from the party and uh, supporting the dream and they're spreading the word and they've got people that are they are keeping and what they're influencing on the, the so they yeah. want continuity yes so you need to have your numbers before they say people always the hype is the plus to get the extra votes of new registered yes, voters yes, yes. and all those that don't belong to any party but just want to vote that's what you use the hype for. but as a party or a political party you or a politician have you need to have to have your numbers already in check great so um still talking about uh, the mayoral competition did you you are a musician and you've helped a lot of artists and you've worked with a lot of artists did you did you get a lot of help in terms of um artists you know creating the hype okay the hype yes there was a song called nick t cosesa mm -hmm. which really was trending i think i had uh, seven artists on it so that really came to support mm -hmm. out of the seven artists six of them did it for free only one uh, demanded to be paid and was paid and I think the support was there uh, mm. from even other people ju just heard that there's a song being done and they were calling and 
like I said, not all lawyers support a lawyer. You, you, you see, our president is a lawyer, but not all lawyers are on his side. Oh, it yes. is quite very unrealistic for us to say, yeah, he's a lawyer, but why are the lawyers not on his side? Others are doctors, like the Minister of Health is a doctor, but I doubt if you all doctors in the country are on his side. So I also accept that not all musicians are going to be on my side. And uh, everyone has got aspiration. Other musicians would want me to see me fail. Like, I, when I'm, uh, uh, like uh, uh, others would want to see me go through so as they say yes now we are going to be given respect as musicians uh, that's one of us and others who just want to say ah this guy deserves it and he might be my fellow musician or not my fellow musician but i think we need to push him so this one is ours this is our brother so people react according to how at what point of uh, life they they are looking at it it's like uh, that trending statement. Shosta is a good TV presenter, presenter, unless you are looking at it from a jealous point of view. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I saw you posting yeah. and I was like, I feel it. You are quite vocal on Twitter. Yeah. You know? no, I unless you are looking for it from a <laughs> <pop> jealous point <laughs> of view. <laughs> Manchester is a Finnish team, unless you are looking at it from a jealous point <laughs> of view. <laughs> okay, so now, before I forget, the the help from uh, the music industry because I've, I've seen other industries where they just look like they're standing together to support this person mm. um uh, well you said that they helped you I, I didn't really see a lot of that but um if you say that some helped you and, and there, there was others even went around to came to collect uh, the guardia uh, or campaign material oh, yeah? and went to give out uh, like a number of them. Nice. I remember those would come, some were radio presenters, just they would ask, where is it? And, 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 and others were just the uh, managers to artists. Even if the artist himself didn't come, but at least I saw the manager. He came, he got stuff and he went and you saw him talk about it on social media and uh, see him talk about uh, trying to push push it I saw a, a, a few of uh, I saw a good number of uh, uh, artists really it's, supporting it's a, it's a good yeah. start it's a good start. and also another number just staying away and don't want <laughs> to do anything Bro, it that, is the first time I saw even artists that have stayed themselves they've never been in politics or mentioned anything to do with politics coming up in front like for example i think i can mention this one ranel mm -hmm. coming out opening and saying i'm supporting peterson That's and nice. i'm going to vote for peterson i prefer everyone vote for peterson i'm like wow this is ranel he never talks politics and he doesn't so i think for that one it was a uh, uh, maybe it was an it was quite personal for him that yeah, yeah maybe yeah because maybe the relationship that yeah. you had for over, yeah. over the for years. years yeah how does it work does it work better if you if you approach people personally and say, dude, uh, I think your voice can carry weight, can you... Put yeah, up we it? did that, those that we needed to approach. And mostly what I learned is that every time you approach mm -hmm. someone, they want to be paid big. And I'm just, oh, yeah. you understand. So it was working well, we had a, a budget that we're working mm -hmm. with, and it was easier to work with people that are willing that were, oh, well, that to, to just be, push, yeah. Because yeah. the few that we called wanted to be paid, and the few that we felt like this is a must, we need this person, we paid. And the other, the rest just came through and uh, gave solidarity and pushed. That's very nice. To me, you share a lot of wisdom. And um, sometimes when I'm in your space, I like to, maybe uh, well, maybe the three of us would like to be you, me, and Mac too. Mm -hmm. When you're talking, I like to listen a lot. Like, there's a lot of things that you say. If Mac too provokes a lot. You yes. Know, he talks. A lot of sense and it provokes your thinking and you start thinking, oh yeah, 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 and then you want to chip in. But there's always that time after maybe time comes, then you look at each other and say, wait, what are you doing? We are here until next week. This has been High Five. <laughs> As a tiger. Kanunube. Talamanda. Kaboom. Jiggo, 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 pan de piesa. Dance to the rhythm and the piesa. A road boy ting me a kwesha. Dine panon, dine mukuvesa. Maradona. Iba pika pika vana. Ribo, ribo, dance on iba fana. Maradona. All of them know me a the best. Bad man, dem a dunu na reverse. Maradona. Iba pika pika vana. Stamina man, saga man, monga. Maradona. All of them know me a the best. Bad man, dem a dunu na reverse. Maradona. Dine pano, dine pano, Maradona, dine pano, dine pano, Maradona.
a place in the bonfire Ma con che lesa in the one seven pala Monga ma diva when they come around me pampa dat Ni ma wafi anta pa ma bit Baka yad ni mbo zanga ndi e zene wa ma faka dance Wakam vera in e ndi e pe wa record Ati ka pena ti mu chireko Tuni ti mu peleko Koma va ma da va dili swift Maradona Iba pika pika vana Dribo dribo dance on iba fana Maradona All of them know me a the best Bad man dem a do do na reverse Maradona Iba pika pika vana Stamina man From the center to the corner When them attack me, I try a Maradona Naga dance can go choke it up a shoulder Me a dribble them pa beat and murder them Maradona body dance on my knowledge Like Maradona, Niva Nunya Muma Vies Me never do no na reviews So me tell them fig way monga do ne moze gieta Wani up a daily monse na muma loto Monga ni kayombo ine ni imba for seto Na ma diva wa vini la pa ma tebo Saga man me the best like Maradona Iba pika pika vana, dribo dribo dance on iba fana Maradona, all of them know me a the best Bad man, them a do do na reverse Maradona, iba pika pika vana Stamina man, saga man, monga Maradona All of them know me a the best Bad man, them a do do na reverse Maradona, di ne pa no ho Di ne pa no, Maradona, di ne pa no ho Whenever them wanna do and got me look on them and say Maradona Wakari bofaka na ma vez Bafuni kakumvele la kodis Zaga mana diringa na fununu mi say Maradona I am mi say Fununu mi say I am mi say Fununu Maradona I am mi say Fununu mi say I am mi say Kabo Fununu Maradona